Julia's Eyesight Adventure. Hi again, 3rd of September 2017. I've made an appointment with an optician. Um, I didn't want to go to one on the high street that is a part of a chain because although you can get fairly quick appointments you're not necessarily going to see the same person every time and I want to find an optician I can befriend and go back to every month so my appointment's not for two weeks yet and in the meantime I'll just carry on um, making videos exploring how my eyesight is going. So today I found my eye patch. I made it myself. <laughs> um, what I've been doing is wearing it on my good eye and eating meals because eating meals is quite good you have to reach out and touch things and do kind of manipulatory things with your hands bring them up to your face and the interesting thing about patching one eye particularly the one that you normally use is that the other one that you're not used to using doesn't have that special awareness you're you're reaching out for something and um, you think you've got there before you've got there so this eye through being more short-sighted than the other through being a bit out of kilter and through being not used to the same extent as the better eye it doesn't have that connection with the world and so my thought is I'm going to rebuild that connection by putting on the eye patch on the good eye and giving the less good eye the space to function to, to learn how far away things are to learn how much it can do giving it space to itself I can't do this for long periods I've been trying it for about half an hour at a time and then I can feel the strain beginning to build up you know you get kind of tiredness around your eye and this eye is obviously fighting to see because it's used to seeing if you cover your eyes you can tell where the strain is because you get bright patches or lighter patches things moving around it's not still Sometimes you even get a kind of coruscating if you really strain your eye enough. So, also palming. So I'm wearing the eye patch, I'm doing things like maybe cooking, maybe eating. You just have to be careful when you're cooking that you know what you're doing. You don't, obviously don't want to spill hot stuff on yourself, but I don't think it's that much of a risk. So I'll try the chart again today. This is not because I'm expecting any change, it's just that if change happens you're not going to be aware of it unless you use the chart. And using the chart is also an opportunity to allow this process that you're teaching yourself to get a bit of practice. So you've been teaching yourself to shift and swing and relax and allow things to come into focus. Well, you have to keep doing it and the chart is a good way to see if you're doing it. All right, right eye first. Relax and let the eye be soft and open. C R B T F P five C G O. Can't really make out the four line just now. KBER. Well, now it's clear, but there are shadows next to the letters. 3 T Y or something. Okay, so that's my right eye. Left eye. CRBTFP. Not sure I could read that with a five if I didn't know. And the two in the middle look fairly similar, the C and the G, but I can see that the O is different. And I can feel the pulling 
up here when I'm doing this so I'm not sure whether I should be doing it this way because it's also possible to get better focus by practicing central fixation the sort of imagining that things are moving and when I do that I don't get this pulling so I think there are various different processes going on I'm going to do a bit of swinging watching things move through my field of vision focusing always on the movement not the detail and with my eyes closed so just to get a feeling for that movement nice and black and white just checking if it makes a difference if I'm looking with both eyes or one eye I think it is actually slightly clearer with both eyes, which is interesting. Now I'm getting the double image with my right eye. I think it's the right eye. Yeah, the left eye's completely switched off it. What I might do now is to do some swings just using my left eye. I'm going to go and get the patch. Here we are. Some people swing really quite fast. I started off fast, but I find that slower is, a, is more relaxing. You get a sort of a feeling of softness about it. any difference Yeah, I can get as far as the 5CGO line. And the 4 is sort of shimmering. So I'm going to stop now and do some palming. And I'm being rather slapdash here. I've got nothing to rest my elbows on, so I'm going to lean forwards onto the table cover my eyes, see a lovely black and just try not to hunch up my back which is a habit I have. This is not so comfortable I would stay here for a long period but it's long enough just to rest my eyes a bit and
just let any strain drain away. As I was saying, sometimes the muscles over my left eye, if I'm working with my left eye, I can feel them tensing up. That's why I think it's really a good idea to only do practices for short periods and follow them up with a deliberate relaxation session so that you don't build up habits of tension because you don't want to replace one habit of tension with another habit of tension. Okay then, I'll leave it there for now and I'll see you soon. Bye.